open Massive and go to the body page using the drop-down list. Over by the new node bar we can use spheres and tubes. These are types of segments which will form the agent skeleton. Let's drag a sphere onto the work area. This will be the root of the skeleton and will represent the torso of the agent. We should move the root up above the ground and we can do that by using the translate Y slider under the rest tab. Keeping the root selected, drag a tube node onto the work area. You can see that by having the root selected when you drag on a new node, it will automatically become a child of the selected node. Let's name this the right leg. Select the root again and bring on another tube node. This will be the left leg. The legs to do with some adjustments, so selecting the right leg, go down to the node edit area. Under the shape tab, you can change the length and radius of the segments. And we change the positioning of the legs under the rest tab using the rotate Z and the translate sliders. You may notice as well, as we make changes to the right leg, the left leg mirrors it. This is because in Massive, symmetry is automatically on and affects segments with the same name but with prefixes of R and L. If you need to turn symmetry off, go to Edit and click on Symmetric. Before this tutorial, we will leave it switched on. Let's carry on and add the arms. Clicking on Root, drag in a tube node and rename this Right Arm and do the same with the left arm. And we can reshape and position the arms as we did with the legs. Finally, let's add the head. Select the root again and drag on a sphere node. And make changes to the shape and positioning which suits the skeleton. And there you have it, a simple skeleton for your agent. Let's go to the brain page and see what happens when we apply dynamics to the agent. An agent or part of an agent can have rigid body dynamics activated at any time. Drag an output node onto the work area. Go to the channel box and select Agent. Then Dynamics and Active. Set the value to 1 and press spacebar to play. And then you can watch the agent flop to the ground like a rag doll. This is just the start of what is possible with a massive agent.